people when I was a child growing up in St. Kitts, poor as ever, poor to the poor, poor. I had a lot of old friends, old, I'm talking 80 year old, 70 something year old, and they would all tell me about their regrets. When I was younger, I wish I did this. When my body was working, I wish I did this. And it was so sad to see these elderly, wise and beautiful people and have them share with me so candidly. And I'm grateful I had that experience. They had so many regrets. And I, it planted within me at a young age that I said, when? You ain't gonna got no regrets. Not in this life, baby. Hell's to the no. You're not gonna have regrets. Regrets are the biggest thieves of breath. Let's say that again. Regrets are the biggest thieves of breath. My love, so how are you? It's when? Ah, it's Friday. My sinuses are killing me. My hair's in a bun. No makeup. But I felt called to come here and share this with you. Many of us, maybe you too, maybe you too, ah, were brought up with the belief that you have to do certain things for you to live a fulfilling life. Like today, I should be editing the second draft of my book that my editor sent because that's what I should do. I should maybe put on my lights and go record a proper video for you so it looks professional because I should do. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. <laughs> All I want to do is relax and slow down and be me and barely have on too much clothing because it's so damn hot. That's what I want to do. And relax and maybe write and maybe go to the beach. That's a, that's what I'm feeling right now. And sometimes, oh, sometimes we feel that we cannot be ourselves. We cannot celebrate the energy of the intuitive nudges that come through for us when they come through our bodies, our physical body, our heart, our mind, and come through our decisions and live and breathe in that energetic space because we guilt. <laughs> we guilt ourselves for wanting what we want. You've done it, I've done it. We guilt, G-U-I-L-T, ourselves for wanting what we want and, and today I'm not having any of it. I'm not having any of it and I, I invite you not to have any of it either because what about you? What about what you want? What about what you feel called to slow down and boogie with your spirit, your being, your inner divine? Sometimes that's what you do need. That's what you do need and that's why I finally shifted out of the corporate space and all the chaos and all the high energy and all the shoulds. Listen, if you work for somebody or if you're in a certain environment, you have to follow their rhythm of what they want. And if you're in a certain relationship, maybe, as I have had been, you have to follow their rhythm and what they want if it's an unhealthy situation. And we all have make that call, my love. We all make that call. We all make that call. But I just wanted to let you know. If you grow up in an environment, culture, if you have friends who are living a certain way that's different from the way you're living, if you have family members that are living a certain way different from what you're living, some of them may be wealthier than others, some of them may be more to what society say prosperous than others, my loves, that's wonderful for them, or some of them may be working on that prosperity parity for themselves. All I'm saying, my loves, is that's beautiful that we have a variety of examples of how you can be in your life. But remember this, my loves, you decide. <laughs> you really, 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 truly have the gift of deciding how you, how you, how you <laughs> want to live, breathe, and be. You decide that ultimately. And sometimes it's hard for us to step away from that belief, that unconscious belief that's so deeply embedded in our minds and in our bodies that tell us that that tells us this is the only way we can be because that's what everybody expects you to be. I said no, baby. 
You decide that with your one life. You decide that with your one life. And we can be a chameleon if we choose to. One day you may decide, ah, I think I'm going to go do this thing and have that vocation, work in an office. Maybe you say you tried it out and after a while you say, ah, no, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to travel the world for a while. That's beautiful. Listen to your rhythm, how you move through the world and what you need, want and dream is within you. And it matters because it's in within you. And sometimes we're so stuck in wondering how and what would they say if I don't do this and what would they think of me? I said, divorce yourself from their certainty of what joy should look like for them because you are not them. You are you. Happily, thankfully, <laughs> gloriously, you can decide how you want to move and float and shimmy mimmy through this life. <laughs> That's your gift. That's your right. That's my offering to you today, Friday, without any makeup and not giving a care. Hey, hey, hey. Because you only have one life to live, one life to live. And why not live it the way you want to live it? Let me tell you something. I know so many people. People, when I was a child growing up in St. Kitts, poor as ever, poor to the poor, poor. I had a lot of old friends, old, I'm talking 80 year old, 70 something year old, and they would all tell me about their regrets. When I was younger, I wish I did this. When my body was working, I wish I did this. And it was so sad to see these elderly, wise and beautiful people and have them share with me so candidly. And I'm grateful I had that experience. They had so many regrets and i it planted within me at a young age that i said when you ain't gonna gonna regrets not in this life baby hells to the no you're not gonna have regrets regrets are the biggest thieves of breath let's say that again regrets are the biggest thieves of breath so all the things that i've dreamt and cherished about i'm doing them what about you baby are you worth it? Are you willing to dance with your glory? Are you worth it? Are you willing to feel the power of making a decision that's right and truthful and integrous for you? Are you worth it? I say, yeah, baby. We're all worth it. Whatever it is you're thinking about, doing about, inviting yourself to feel and dream and float about, go there, baby. <laughs> Go there, all the way there, baby, because if not now, when? If not now, when? We're not holding back anymore, my loves. That's why I offered on this eighth anniversary of my company, Rebel for a Spell, a delicious discount for the whole month, beginning, I think, two days ago. So it's from whenever you're watching this in June, all the way through to July 31st, gorgeous discount site-wide. So if you're interested in the one-on-one -on -one coaching with me for three months, the joy retreat, where you get laser focused, tailored in what you want to achieve and receive and float into your life, those options are available for you. Or if you are thinking about making money, honey, in your sleep, building the dignity of knowing that you matter in that financial healing course, making money, honey, in our sleep. It's there for you. Or the other course, the joy momentum, where we look 365 at your life so that you can let go and receive all that you want to so that you get <laughs> to create the life, the reality that seeds your glory, your dignity of knowing that where you are right now, it matters. What you want right now matters. So with this gift, with this lift of this site-wide eight-year anniversary sale, you're welcome to enjoy the taste of your glory coming in. And I'm here to celebrate with you, my loves. That's why I'm doing this, my love, because I would like to see so many more of you, especially women, shimmy in in their glory, not being worried about the how and what would they say and what would people say. And they just throw off that cloak, honey, and fly, 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 fly. <laughs> I would love so many of you because you're telling me you have missions 
callings and longings in your hearts, but something is holding you back, baby. This anniversary sale is my gift to you to let go of the shackles of the shoulds and step into your glory. Why? You were born for this. That's why. You were made for this. <laughs> All right, my loves. That's my offering to you on this random video. And I hope it seeds your joy and your weekend celebration. I think the holidays coming up, 4th of July. Be safe, my love. Be safe. Whatever you want to do, do it. Do it. Regret we ain't going to have no more, baby. No, no, no. You are worthy and so blessed of living the life that you want on your terms. You are worthy and so blessed of living life on your terms. Worthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shimmy, shimmy. <laughs>